Hey, hey everyone, and a welcome in. It's uh, Monkey Mar. Before we get into today's uh, video, please make sure you click that subscribe button, the bell for notifications, and of course, the like. And without further ado, let's get into the newest update on Brie Asia Terrell. This is one of those cases that really, really pisses me off. Where is the timeline? Where are the updates? Where is this 10 year old little girl, Briasia Terrell? Now I found some new photos and a couple articles because I always wondered where is Henry Earl Dinkins family? How come they are not speaking out? Well, they are speaking out now, his mother and his sister. But we will get into that article after I read this little article and show you some pictures that I came across. So the search for Briasia Terrell continues. Asia Langford hangs out in Devil's Glen Park in Bettendorf for her daughter Briasia Terrell. Detorious Langford and his mother, Asia Langford, throw a baseball with their family in Devil's Glen Park after hanging up missing person posters for his sister, Briasia Terrell, on August 20th, 2020. Briasia has been missing since July 10th, 2020, and she was last seen in the 2700 block of East 53rd Street in Davenport, Iowa. So, Detorious Langford is Henry Earl Dinkins' biological son. Now, I wonder why the name is Langford and it's not Dinkins. But I guess that's a whole other question to try to figure out, right? Let's get into this article with Henry Earl Dinkins' mother and his sister and let's see what they have to say and this picture right here i don't know what it is about this picture or the expression on her face and i know everyone handles things differently but it just gives me the weirdest weirdest feeling where is your daughter so here is an article from his sister mother tormented after Henry Earl Dinkins is the designated person of interest in Briasia Terrell's missing person case. So, Netta Dinkins McQuay spoke for the better part of 90 minutes Tuesday before she stopped and suppressed a sob. I just want to have grace, she said quietly as she stood in the shade of one of Duck Creek Park's shelters. I want you to be granted grace and everyone involved in this to find grace. I am not judging who took Briasia. I can't judge who did that. I just want to thank you for listening to my side of the story. You have granted me a moment of grace. Netta's side of the story ended in a near whisper uttered from behind the safety of a mask. It started with Briasia Terrell, a 10-year-old missing girl from Davenport, the middle of the story included allegations of murder contracts, police harassment, and the pain of harsh public assumptions. Briasia was reported missing early July 10, 2020, and Netta's brother, Henry Earl Dinkins, was arrested later that day. He was charged with three sex offender registry violations. And we all know that's because he failed to go and register that he was a sex offender and that happened when he was 17 but in my prior videos on Briasia all of that info is in there if you have not seen it so those charges have nothing to do with the fact Briasia and Henry Deacon's son were visiting him during the time frame the girl went missing Henry Deacon's has not been charged with any crime in relation to Briasia's disappearance, though Davenport police investigators named him a person of interest in the case. 
Neto was joined under the shade of the shelter Tuesday by their mother, Helen Mosley. Both women said they believed Henry Dinkins had nothing to do with Briasia's disappearance. My mother and I were out of town that Friday morning, July 10th, 2020, when Henry Earl Dinkins called us and told us that Briasia was gone, Netta said. I told him to call the police right away. Netta and Helen insisted they cooperated with Davenport police investigators from the minute Henry Dinkins was taken into custody. They said they offered to let investigators in the home Netta and Helen shared. The Davenport Police Department have not confirmed or denied any part of Netta's story, but how she was treated by investigators. As of Wednesday, the department has not replied to the Quad City Times inquiries. Again, the Davenport Police and its investigators are put in the position of answering allegations that may tie directly into an investigation into a missing girl, Briasia Terrell. From the police perspective, it's a can't-win proposition. Netta said she's in a familiar place. Two weeks went by, then Davenport investigators took my phone, Netta said. I still haven't gotten that phone back. It's just gone. I've asked about it, but the detectives tell me I can't have it back yet. Netta and Helen said despite the fact they offered to let investigators into their home, police kicked in the door weeks later and ex executed a search warrant. Maybe there's a reason, Netta said, but I don't know what it is. I can't imagine how things change from July 10th to weeks later. Netta made even darker allegations. We heard there is a hit out on Henry Earl Dinkins, me, my mother, and other members of our family. A murder contract, Netta said. One day there was an SUV following us, so we called 911, and we were pretty upset. I was very afraid of what was going to happen. The dispatcher told us that police would get to us when they get us. I just feel like we are being held responsible for something we had nothing to do with. Netta visits her brother and they talk on the phone, she said. We can't get any pastors to see him, she said. Everyone assumes he did something horrible, but he is hanging in there. We have faith in God. I am certain through God all of this will be revealed. People have stopped talking to us. Some people have made horrible allegations against us. I don't know what happened. If I did, I would tell it. I really do not know what to make of this case, but I definitely want to hear your guys' thoughts, your opinions, and what do you think happened to Briasia Terrell? Two kids go to spend the night with Henry Earl Dinkins, one his son, and one is Briasia, his son's half-sister. And one comes back and one doesn't. There's no big media coverage on it. And now we've got Henry's sister and mother speaking out. And we've got Briasia's mother just hanging out in the park with a big grin on her face all right guys like i said all the time and before i will keep you posted on any new updates on this case and with that it is a wrap i want to thank you all for coming in thank you for watching please like or dislike whichever you prefer and a subscribe everyone stay safe from covid and, of course, a stay of vigilant. Have a good day or a good night wherever you are in the world. I am out.